See, the reality is that in marriage, couples are supposed to change each other. Husbands are supposed to influence wives. Wives are supposed to influence husbands. Friends are supposed to influence one another. When we give our heart to someone, when we give our heart to someone, there ought to be a change. Amen, church? Amen, church? Amen, church? Give our awesome God a round of applause, right? Because this gospel, this gospel reminds us of of what it looks like if we incline our heart to the Lord, we begin to love the things that he loved. If we incline our heart to the Lord, we begin to live the way he lived. If I really love the Lord, I love the things that he loved. Amen, church? And and so the Beatitudes, right? These are Luke's version. We're normally hearing Matthew's version, but it's the same message. Same message. And what Jesus is saying to us, as he said to the crowd that day, if you give me your heart, if you give me your heart, I also want you to be poor in spirit. That's not material poverty, right? Material poverty is not a good thing, right? Poverty of spirit is that I depend on God more than myself. The uh, poverty of spirit is that when I'm in a jam, I know that the way out is not just me, but, but God helping me and God showing me the way. Poverty of spirit means that I'm utterly dependent on God when I'm afraid, when I'm anxious, uh, you know, when I'm, when I'm blessed, when I'm feeling unblessed. Right? Why? Because what did Jesus do? He depended totally on the Father. His heart belonged to the Father. And so if our heart belongs to Jesus, if we incline it to him, then our heart also rests with the Father. And we realize how poor we are, that we can't do things on our own, but with him we can do all things. Amen, church?